Hi guys, John Moore back with you again and we're doing the first update, the well, first build update and uh, where I am on the uh, Academy 135 um, Megach 6B Galbatash. Don't know how my Hebrew pronunciations are but they're they're good enough anyway. Anyway, uh, that's the kit. I haven't got much done this weekend. I was, uh, I must admit, I spent most of the weekend watching the uh, Styling Syndicate and the uh, the ISM uh, 48 hour builds. Absolutely fabulous. I had a great weekend with watching them, believe it or not. Started off watching them and said, I'm, go I'm not going to watch this, this is going to be fair boring. Ended up three hours later, I'm not bored. Uh, there was also giveaways and things as well, so you should actually kick on to some of those. They're actually quite good. Um, found this thing in. Uh, local pound shop and said oh, I could use that what is it it's, um, it's for holding a laptop and things like that and I said that would do perfect sitting just there put my instructions onto a piece of cardboard and sit so there and I can do all my bits and pieces right no enough about that oh yeah um, I want to say a big big thank you to um, uh, Simon Kemp uh, I've um I'm after winning Simon's uh, 50th subscriber thing and uh, beautiful uh, Bedford truck. So, uh, not a Bedford truck, it's a. Uh, oh, he, he was just. Bedford truck is in my mind because I was just watching his video there on the, on the new truck he's doing. Um, it's a. Uh, oh, I can't a GMC truck, I think. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a truck. It's a truck. Never done a truck before. The, Clear parts scared the jays out of me because um, I usually end up getting glue and God knows what sticky stuff on them and stuff like that. But just after watching uh, Simon's latest uh, video and he mentions uh, a glass stuff for put actually a glue for actually specifically designed for the glass, so I, I, I must check that out and I get, get one of those. Hopefully, it won't scare me the glass too much. No. Um, Thanks again, Simon. And let's get on to where I am with, with the uh, Magak. Like I said, I didn't get very much done over the weekend. Uh, plus, I have never yet seen a model with so much to be done to the underneath of it and this thing like that. Look at that. Just like the body of a, some weird bug. But... The detail in the bottom of that and the amount of little fiddly bits and pieces that had to go onto it. And this curve here thing, for some reason, that's actually two pieces together. This the line along there, you can just about make it out. It it was a long skinny piece from there to there. And it's only that wide. And the thing, you can see where it's joined in along here. It had basically it had warped a bit. So fit that I had to kind of clamp and hold and pinch and push down and bloody nightmare and sanding it then. I, I think I actually I spent a whole episode of um the uh, ISM one of the ISM bills just sitting there just <coughs> just sanding away with the sanding sticks and getting it all nice and and I have a couple of different grades of these and got it down to got it down to that and I was quite thrilled with it. And then I started adding the bits and pieces. I had to do a bit of filler here because um, it's it's one of the older type kits that are set up that you can put in a motor. So you had the um, marks here. Now I've looked on the pictures and things and you can't really see them when all the rest is together. But there is one angle. If you look back from the back, you can see right up in here. So I said from both sides. I, I just won't take the chance. And it's good exercise anyway. And I, I, I fill them. Quite thrilled it myself. Fill them up there now. That's the um, that's the lower hull. Quite a lot of fiddly work in there, and because of all the fiddly work you notice, you put on that piece. You know yourself, you can't touch that piece for another ten minutes because liable. Right, when you go turn it over to the other side, get all that one on. You turn it over. You've been using that one with your finger and wiggling it around. So it, it took time. It took time, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. Um, the top. There was a couple of little, uh, I suppose, rivet heads and things here which had to be removed, and two holes to be filled, a couple of holes to be drilled, drilled, and two protrusions here to be removed before you even start. 
Um, that was basically because that's the, the hull of an M60 and the Magak have different changes to it. There's uh, uh, an armour piece to go on here. It's got the uh, individual block type armour. I don't know what type of armour actually it is. I have to do it. Um, yeah, there's not much done to it. I've just put on the four covers and that's it. That's all I've done to that. Uh, I have the two little tow cables made. Well, two of the four tow cables made. The other ones for the for the front. Uh, just bend them into shape. They glued up quite nicely, actually. I only had the tiniest little drill out the things just to make the hole a little bit wider. Um, because the wire I used is probably a little bit too thick but the nearest I had down would have been too thin if you know what I mean and I tried to, cut, to get some in between and I couldn't find it anywhere so that size it looks it, look, it, it actually looks perfect so I don't know why I didn't bother why, why I didn't why I bothered should I say spending half a Saturday walking around shops trying to find a bit of wire that I didn't actually need but it was fun anyway um the figures i just i just just did this the, the, the bare flesh tone that's all i have nothing else done to them oh i have i've um i've it uh flesh tone and glass coated because i'm going to do that uh reverse dry brushing that uh switcher put me on to um so i'm going to try that and that and basically, that's that's as far as I've got. <laughs> Weekend, I usually I, I I'm amazed I hadn't got the uh, the tank all finished by now. Most people probably were expecting me to have the tank finished, but uh, no. And it's going to take some time more because there's the amount of little fiddly things to go on to this is unbelievable. And uh, I'm taking my time, and I'm actually enjoying it a bit more taking my time. So. Uh, well, you know yourself, when you start off and or get back into the hobby, should I say, you want to build up yourself a little stack and a shelf with a couple of models that you can look at and things. So uh, you say to yourself, I, I, I want to get them done, I want to get them done, I was rushed to get them done. Now, I'm not in that much of a rush to get them done. I'm taking more time, I'm taking more time in the cleaning off of the parts and things. Um... Just making sure it just kind of looks a bit better and stuff. And I'm actually, I'm, I, I'm getting as much, if not more, enjoyment out of it as I, I did at the start. So, um, I won't be doing, probably won't be doing a little dial for this one. I'm run out of space at the moment. I have space for two more good size, normal size dials um, at the moment. And I want to save those. I want to do one for the Steve Mottram's build. I want to say I'm going to do a die-off for the uh, the Russian tank I'm doing for that. And I'm definitely going to do a die-off for the uh, truck from Simon. So, that's an update on where I am at the moment. Uh, I'll get some more done this evening. Um, I've done my YouTubing, <laughs> checking out. I'll do more when, I, when this is waiting to upload because... Um, I don't know whether if you have the same problems or not, but I put it up onto the thing and you got to download it from, you know, I said from Google Photos and then I get processing video and that can take anything from an hour to an hour and a half to two hours. And at one time I think it took me four hours just to fit and process it and everything. And another time then a longer video. The last one I did a really long video, I think I did a half an hour video and um, it uploaded in about five minutes. So. I don't know, I suppose it's however many people are on the um, tinter webs and the intertubes at the times. Anyway, that's where I am. Uh, catch you up in the next one. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and uh, I'll catch you up in the next one. Look after yourselves, enjoy your modelling. <laughs>